I've spent the last 24 hours in jail, which wasn't very much fun. Um, I can also tell you uh, the reactions that Sass to things that we took yesterday were uh, nothing short of, of shameful and gutless in my eyes. Um, I have had two meetings with uh, Chief Wayhill over the last three weeks, which he's postponed on me. Okay, so for them to roll in there, 10 drug officers strong, without so much of a warning, so much as a phone call, so much as an email, is, is, is nothing short of gutless. And to parade their police cars out the back and follow us out the back door so no one else could see it happen is gutless. Where the real story lies is getting back to the Saskatoon City Police and find out who made this decision and, and get the answer from them. A majority of the medicine we sell at a dispensary is, is oils, is capsules, is topicals. None of those things are available anywhere legally in this country. So for any of those patients using those products, members of our clubs using those products up till, up till yesterday have no access to medicine as of today. And somebody needs to tell me how that benefits our community. Tomorrow, we, you guys can come and meet the hundreds of patients that I serve, and, and you guys can make the judgment for yourself, and the, and the public can make a judgment for themselves, whether I'm a drug dealer or providing medicine to sick people, very obviously very sick people. And, and so they, they can make all the ignorant statements they want. I can tell you right now, I, I can't get into the specifics of what I've been charged with, but half of them will be thrown out of court. They're, most of them are ridiculous. So I, I wouldn't put too much stock in, into what they have to say at this point, because they don't have a very good grip on things as far as I can tell. I was hoping to have a different conversation than this one with the platform of legalization right around the corner. But they don't want to do that. They want to push their agenda. And if you look at alcohol prohibition, they did the same thing. Right near the end of alcohol prohibition, they arrested more people for the crime than ever. So do you expect the police force to be any different around this prohibition? Not likely.